Welcome to the Power Automate video. In this video, you will learn about how to use array of object within Power Automate and how to use that object later in your uh, display. So this is the scenario, current scenario for my demo using the Power Automate. In the last Power Automate video, I have demonstrated how to use JSON object and fill the JSON object to display or to send an email. In this video, I will use the same organism object and display how to use to add to an array. The array will be filled using uh, a filter query from the SharePoint list, the same organism SharePoint list. This list will be filtered using uh, a filter query by a name or by uh, whatever the text which you type in on the Power Automate. And once this array is filled in, the value from the array can be used either by the index or just print it in the email uh, sent to the person. Let's start the demo. So as you can see here, this is the organism's list which I have it in SharePoint, it has several columns and I'm going to fill uh, the array of organism in the Power Automate with the value which you are searching for. Any value you type in, it searches using the filter query by the name column and fill in that array. Let's start here. I already have one sample, but let me start creating a new one. This would be a manual triggered Power Automate flow. I'm creating a flow. So this flow would have would take just one value, whatever the name you type in. So when you manually trigger a flow, you need to specify the name to search. So once you create, once you search for a name, I'm going to initialize a variable to hold the array and first the object. This is the organism object. I declare an object and this would take a JSON value. The JSON format is here already. For demo purpose, I might use only the name and probably I would just use the name. Which, uh, okay. So these three properties, I'm going to use it in the organism. Um, object. So next, for uh, purpose, let me say organism variable. So this would be the organism variable. So next one, what I do is I would have to declare an array of object. So initialize another variable. This would be organisms array, organisms array, which is a type of array. You can initially to null for to start with. You can initialize with null. Uh, it doesn't. It's not mandatory to initialize null, but it's a good practice to initialize null. Okay. So once you initialize your object and the object array. The next step is to get the value. So I'm using the get items from the SharePoint, get items, specify your SharePoint URL and the list is the organisms list. So here in the filter query, I'm using the OData data filter query. Uh, anything you type in, I want to search within the name of the name column. So for that, you can use uh, substring of function. There is a uh, function called substring of, substring of, and the substring of takes two parameter, the text to be searched, it has to be in quote, and the name of the column you are searching. In my case, 
I renamed the title column to be name. So title is a default column name. And here you need to specify what is the value you pass in. In our case, the manual value which I am passing in is the organization name. See, it has to be in code. That's it. So it will search for the organism with the name, whatever you type in. And once you finish that, you need to set that value in the in an array. So for that, first you should use your compose object <coughs> or the for each to get the value. So let me use usually what I do is <coughs> set variable set variable of <coughs> organism then just pass any other name. So this is just for dummy to make sure it automatically creates the for each. Okay. So later I will remove this. Uh, so now it automatically adds a for each for get items. So it runs in a loop to fill the value. Now I need to compose it to set it into the correct organism. So use compose, data compose and let me I am going to set the property of a name. So compose name. The compose name will take a parameter. This is the expression. So I am going to use the set property function which takes two uh, three parameter which is the variables of so it takes the variables of uh, organism and I am going to set the property of a name and the value. So the name I would just use name the property name and to get the value you need to get the name property from this apply to each. So for that there is a separate syntax you can follow. The syntax what it does is it gets the value directly from the uh, item. So we have the syntax here. This is the syntax. Okay. You can follow this syntax. Items of apply to each is the name of the action. And you can use the question mark and the column name. So I just copy this. That's it. So what it does is it sets a property of value which is passed from the for each. So now what I do is I just move over here. Okay, and set this variable to the output of the compose. So output of the compose name, that's it, organism. And similarly, we should follow the same for the description and the picture. For time purpose, I just use copy. Copy this compose. Okay, and then copy this variable. Copy this variable. Okay, so now you need to change this. Let me remove this. Okay. You change this to description. So it has to take the description. And then the item apply to each of description. So here the column name is description and the property name is description. So organism some description and the column name is description. So you can rename this for easy. Okay. And finally, you need to set the output of that compose list. That's it. So what it does is, if you can see here, set the property of a name, set it to the variable of organism, and set a property, set it to variable. And once you set, once the organism object is set with the values, use append to array. So there is a property, called, there is an action called append to array. So what it does is, use this array and append an object, organism object. That's it. So every time when it runs the for each, it fills in the uh, organism class with the name and the description and adds it to the array. So now this array should have the values of all the search uh, organism by the name. So once you have it, let me demonstrate how to use that value. Send the email. Send email to myself. 
then okay so this is to demonstrate uh, how to get the value from the array using the index so what you can do is you can use the first index of the variable okay so let me uh, find out the first index of the variable expression you can use the variables of uh, what is the variable it is the variables of organism organism array and I want to get the first index which is a zero and its name okay so this is the syntax you can follow to get a particular index of a property from an array this will display the first value and if you want to print the whole array in json format you can use just the variables of sorry so you can just use variables of organisms okay organisms array that's it this will print all the json of an array whatever in there why i use uh, the expression to type because uh, when you go into the email body the intelligence will not show the array okay so for that you can use a variable itself so hopefully this works i will trigger this test perform i'm going to perform a trigger by myself save and test it last for connection for the first time so here you can input for example i am going to search li any 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 organism which starts with li or contains li run the flow the flow will start to run and once it succeeded it should send an email i can hear the email sound okay so this is the email see here it has successfully found the first animal which is the lion and it has filled in with one there is only one and this is the description of that particular so it has there is only one line so there is no picture for it it has displayed so similarly if i am running this for getting the multiple results i can use let me go there flow edit let me test with test i will perform my own yes okay now i am going to search for hu human okay so this should result multiple human because i have added uh, duplicated so many of them okay this has completed and if you see here it had run through the loop seven times it had run through the loop it had set the value of human and finally it had sent a email of all so if you see the email see here this many duplicate value of human is there human then the description is null uh, description is this is the human and next one is human description the final human description is a full kind of text if you want to validate this with filter by maybe human okay filter by human you can see here this is the human planetus appearance and this is the description okay this one has long description that's how it is displayed okay so now uh, you know how to use the objects within an uh, power automate and how to display or get the object by the single index as also uh, display everything one last thing you can even uh, print this by html for example i can use html table create html table and pass this array organisms array and finally you can output in a html output an html okay so let me search again the human or some other animal as well i can do it is saving test i'll perform my own test then i will search for maybe um, same line 
Okay, I'm searching for lion. Okay, I got the result. This time it should be HTML format. Okay, picture name, uh, picture name and the description. So it formed the HTML automatically. Since the description is an again a HTML, it had uh, uh, pasted the whole HTML of the description. The line has the full description. The name here and picture it is empty, so it doesn't show any value here. Okay, and I can search any other as well to show the filter or uh, just to have. Let me remove the filter. I'll just show Amiba camel remove the honey demon. Okay. Okay, Amiba, this should have the picture. Maybe I search for AM Amiba in this scenario. Amiba AM. So just perform search Amiba AM. So AM, if I search for AM, it should give me all the Amoeba with the picture link. I'm just demonstrating the picture link. Looks like there are several values written, so it takes a while to run Amoeba. So first value is the Amoeba. See here, for the picture value I'm not setting it, sorry. So if you set the picture value, it would come in. So it gives me all the AM, Paramecium, Jane Clang. So this is kind of filter query. You can see all the text okay so that's all in my demo uh, hope you liked it subscribe share like my video if you like it thank you so much